Hi, I'm John, John Rowland with Holland Park, and I'm going to give you some basics on the core drill, starting with the control system. Now basically, the controls on this are fairly straightforward. It's uh, variable frequency drive and air over oil uh, pneumatic system uh, that gives you a real steady flow uh, as you're drilling through a rock. On the, uh, on the control side, the big switch is your main power shut off and below it is an e-stop button. What this does is disconnects the contactor for everything so it's a fast way to shut off the machine if you, you know, have something that uh, is, is serious. Um, on the front side of the controls, we've got four controls. The, the far right hand side is the drill on and off. So that starts your drill. Um, the big red button is actually a braking stop. So that's a dynamic brake. It stops the drill very fast. And then the pump, which runs your coolant. And the, the switch right next to your emergency stop is your table up and down. So that runs the table motor right here. Um, so the, on the electrical controls for running the motor and the, and the table, that's all, all of that. The, the VFD is mounted on the wall, and there's one control up here, which is the speed. This allows you to adjust the speed for each size bit that you're running. Then on the pneumatic side, there's a regulator in the back where you can set your, uh, your pressure and then a uh, filter, of course, and then on the, on the side of the control panel, which you probably really need to come over here, on the side of the control panel is a pneumatic valve. And this valve basically allows us to move the ram up and down. So towards us is up, away from us is down, and then here we've got two lines that are in, in parallel. This is a bypass valve that lets you move rapidly down to position, and then this is a metering valve that allows you to set your feed rate. So you can do rapid, either going up or going down, and then set your feed rate to control how fast you're cutting your stone. So what we're gonna do here, uh, oh, well, let me show you one other feature, which is a depth setting. The depth setting is to be able to set the end of the bit um, on the table and zero it out. That way when you're in the middle of the rock, you know where you are in respect to the table so you don't drill through the bottom of your table. So I'll go ahead and touch on the bottom. and We've already zeroed it out, but what you'll see is when we get down to the end, we're touching our table and we're essentially zero. To, to set zero, you press the clear set button and the enter button. These two buttons, that's the only thing that you'll use. You can change the units from inch to mm uh, or vice versa, but it doesn't really matter because you're moving down through the stone and it tells you when you're getting close. All right, so we're gonna drill a rock here. What, what we've done is we've taken our piece of stone and we've cast it with casting plaster, plaster of Paris, so that the bottom of the stone is flat and it doesn't rock. Um, and we'll draw a circle on the top of it to see where we want to put our bit through while we're, you know, preparing to cast the rock. That way, that way we know where we want to put what size bit because sometimes there's rocks that have undercuts underneath them and that way when you get it up in the drill you're not guessing at what size bit should I stick through here because you know you've looked at the rock you've drawn your circle on. So we started this one just to uh, get the bit kind of sharp. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set it up and you'll watch me run the feeds. I, I'll, I'll wrap it down just a little bit until we get to the bottom of our cut and then we'll resume cutting.
quarter or one third open, depending on what it is, what kind of bit we're running, what carbon is on the Right now, I'm a quarter open. I'm going to open that up to half. And you'll be able to hear the difference in the tone of the bit. Very hard right now. 